Hey, this is the uh, nine channel DMX board. Um, they run about 40 bucks on AliExpress. Um, let me see, I got this one on a, on a pigtail coming up here to my 12 volt power supply. The address on these is set with this little dip switch here. Um, you bump them up or down depending on what your starting address is. And then if you see down at the end, that last dip switch, switch number 10, um, that enables or disables the pre-programmed effect that's on it. Um, so I've got that switched up. That's what I'll be showing you on with these things on. Um, you see I got four wires coming in. I'm using two wires for my positive negative power and two wires, uh, red and green, for my uh, data, DMX data coming into the board. The board comes with these XLR jacks, the three pin. Um, it also comes with a little pad there that you can solder wires directly to if you don't want to buy the $7, $10 adapters uh, to convert those from your Cat5 or whatever cabling you're using. Um, you can see each of the outputs on these uses screw terminals. It's a uh, common positive with red, green, and blue uh, neutrals all the way down the line. So a total of 27 channels, uh, 9 RGB channels on this. Um, right now I have these each connected to the waterproof pigtails. And then going up, these are the new um, IP68 rated resin filled dumb RGB nodes. Uh, so four wires, common positive red, green, and blue negatives, respectively. Um, these so far I've been testing. I've done through two freeze-thaw cycles on them. Uh, checked to make sure that they're waterproof even after those freeze-thaw uh, freeze cycles, and so far they look uh, pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my power supply on. Just let you see through what that effect is on these. Now each of these node strings is 50 nodes long, um, which is, depending on your spacing, a little bit different. Um, some of these bundles you'll see are shorter. Those are the four inch space, that's the default. Um, some of these are double that eight inch space. Now, when I say four inch and eight inch, it's still an objective figure because when you measure center to center on the four inch nodes they're actually about two and three quarters inches and when you measure center to center on the eight inch spaced nodes they're actually about six and three quarters inches center to center so they might cut the wire originally at eight inches um, or four inches but after they solder it to the board put it inside of the silicone sleeve and um, take into account the, the stripping back overlap, all that, you, you're losing a little bit on the wire. So, um, but you can see here, you know, if you were looking to do a, a mega tree or something just very simple, individual strings, um, that this would work just fine. I uh, also have plugged in here in the loop one of the little six dollar DMX decoders and that is plugged into a uh, rainbow flood right now so um, I've tried the rainbow flood with the larger board as well uh, works works great um, really happy with this on this my first one of these seeing you know, how it went together and everything uh, took less than a half an hour to build it which is really nice you can crank a bunch of them out a short amount of time um, but just just another alternative so I'm thinking that uh, I may end up using quite a few of these little boards for next year uh, price is right on them and and uh, for something that's all centrally located or if you had a needed a bunch of different channels on just one display element. Um, they seem to be pretty powerful little units.